What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. I am super excited for this video today. This is going to be my Paris shopping vlog. If you guys are new here, I recently came back from a vacation in Paris. I already have another vlog up on my channel right now. That one kind of covers like where I went, where I ate, what I wore, just kind of like what I did in Paris for fun. This video is going to be focusing on shopping. This is going to be kind of like a vlog slash shopping guide hybrid. It can be different difficult to vlog in especially a lot of the luxury boutiques while also giving commentary. So I'm going to kind of like give commentary as we go. I'm going to be talking about shopping at department stores versus boutiques, kind of the pros and cons of those, my thoughts on vintage shopping. And yes, at the end, I will give you guys my rundown and my thoughts about shopping at Chanel in Paris. So if you guys are interested in that, then keep watching. And real quick, if you guys are new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Sophia and this is my channel where we talk about all things beauty and luxury. You will notice my channel is mostly focused on makeup reviews, specifically sort of high-end and luxury, but I also do bag unboxings, fashion hauls, and now I'm doing kind of like these fashion and shopping vlogs. So if you like luxury, if you love beauty and fashion and handbags and all that good stuff, then definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to hear about every time I upload a new video. Real quick, if you guys like fashion hauls, I will be doing a separate video where I show you guys all of the things that I ended up buying on this trip. So definitely look out for that. If you like this style of video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up up, it really really helps me out and I will be linking down below all of the places that I mentioned in this video in case you want to go back to those specific boutiques maybe you're planning a trip to Paris all that good stuff so without further ado let's get into it Okay, friends, so the first thing that I want to talk about is shopping at department stores in Paris. One of the first places I went to to shop was the Printemps department store. I had never been here before, so I wanted to check it out. This is a very beautiful department store. It can be a little bit confusing because it is separated into different buildings. I think they have one that's basically beauty, uh, home goods, baby goods. They have a men's store, and then they have a women's department store. I first went into the beauty department. They had a really beautiful selection of things, and then I also went into the women's store. Super beautiful store. I think that in general, shopping at this department store, any of the department stores in Paris, it's a really good option if you kind of want to shop across a lot of different brands. I noticed that they even had a Goyard store at this location. So if you don't feel like waiting in line at the Goyard boutique on St. Honoré, you could just go to Printemps and they have a store right there. They also have a Chanel boutique. And then I thought that they had a really great selection of specifically like French contemporary brands. So they had like Isabelle Marant, they had Maj, they had Sandro, they had Bash. They even had a little section in the store that was for like vintage clothing. They had kind of like a curated vintage selection, which I thought was really cool. Overall, I thought Printemps was a gorgeous store. I didn't buy anything from here. I was kind of just checking it out, but I thought it was a really, really nice department store. Some of the other benefits at shopping at these department stores is that often you don't really have to wait in line for a lot of the luxury boutiques or the lines are a lot smaller. Also, you can shop to your heart's desire throughout the store, all the different brands, all the different boutiques, and they will sort of wrap everything up into one tax-free document so that when you go to the airport and you want to get your tax back on all of your purchases, you basically just have one form from Printemps, from Galleries de Lafayette, Le Bon Marche, any of these department stores. That's also a really big benefit at shopping at a department store. Now, what is the downside at shopping at a department store? I would say the biggest downside is is just like if you really want to shop from just one brand or if you're looking for something that's rather hard to find a lot of times the luxury boutiques that are in these department stores they can be a, a little bit smaller or they might be a little bit smaller they might not have as much stock especially i noticed in Printemps with the ready to wear depending on the brand they didn't have like as big of a breadth of a selection for example i was really interested in shopping for fendi ready to wear and i noticed that their selection was like pretty sparse. They didn't really have a lot of the pieces that I wanted. They didn't have any Fendace. Whereas when I went to the boutique, which we'll talk about later on, they had all of that. So I think that's kind of like the biggest downside. Also, if it's a really busy department store, it can get a little bit hectic. The other department store that I went to is called Le Bon Marche. I had never been here before. This was definitely at the top of my list. I had done a lot of research and read a lot about this department store. It's very historical. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first department store in Paris. It might be the first department store in Europe. Don't quote me on that. I liked this even more than Printemps. If you want to shop at a department store in Paris, I would recommend this one first. The store itself 
absolutely beautiful. It is a stunning store. I will show you guys some clips right here. They have these beautiful kind of like stained glass windows, even the escalators, just the way everything is laid out. So beautiful. Everything is just really nicely merchandised. You know, when you go into a store and it's just, everything is just arranged so beautifully. I also noticed that they had a really big selection of clothing. If you don't have any specific brand in mind, you kind of want to shop between brands and you want a place where you can do that has a lot of stock, I highly recommend going to Le Bon Marche. One of the other benefits here is that they also, just like Printemps, they have all of the different luxury stores. Just like Printemps, I didn't notice like super long lines to get into a lot of these. Maybe at Chanel, maybe at Louis Vuitton. Now you're probably wondering how do these two department stores compare to Galleries de Lafayette? I would generally say like Galleries de Lafayette just seems to be way more busy and more hectic. I don't even know if it's necessarily bigger. I didn't shop there on this shopping trip, but I have shopped there in the past. I think that Le Bon Marche is probably my favorite because it's not as hectic. It's on the other side of the Seine. I also think it's the most beautiful and they seem to have really good stock in a lot of the brands. So that's the one that I would recommend. Galleries de Lafayette, I've had good shopping experiences there, but I probably would go more so in like the off season I wouldn't go like in the middle of July, like when I was in Paris. Now, while I didn't go to the main galleries de Lafayette, I did go to the one on the Champs Elysees. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of this because similar to what I just said, it was just so hectic. I do not recommend that you go to galleries de Lafayette on the Champs Elysees. It was so crowded. Everything was very poorly merchandised. The stock wasn't great. Like everything just looked kind of picked over and messy. And I couldn't wait to get out of there. I went in there looking for Jean Camus and it was like the saddest little display I've ever seen. I did end up buying something which I will show you guys in my upcoming luxury haul but I I got in there and I got out like I kind of got lucky I found something else I was looking for. I do not recommend going to this department store. <laughs> Next up, I wanna talk about a neighborhood in Paris that I recommend for shopping, and that is Les Marais. If you guys have never been to this particular neighborhood, it's such a beautiful area of Paris. I like to describe this as almost like the Soho of Paris. I kind of get that sort of vibe if you guys have ever shopped in Soho in New York City. That's what this reminds me of. I think that this is the best place if you're not necessarily looking for luxury brands like Louis Vuitton and Chanel. You just want to shop like nice contemporary French brands. So like Sandro, Bash, Maj. There's a bunch of other shops that are kind of located in these intertwining streets. There's some other brands that you will probably never have heard of, especially if you are in the U.S. There's a lot of like sort of independent boutiques. I highly recommend this. I always have a lot of fun shopping in Les Marais. The place where I spent the most time was in the Guerlain Boutique. I highly recommend checking out a Guerlain Boutique if you are in Paris. Wow, what a fantastic experience. I went first into this boutique specifically because I wanted to see if they had that new metallic metal lipstick butterfly collection. Unfortunately, they didn't have any new makeup that I could show for you guys, but the kind sales associate did help me shop for fragrance. This was so fun. They really make it a fun experience. Experience. You can pick out your fragrance. You can customize your bottle. When they show you guys the fragrance, they actually have like a fan, you know, like a fan for each fragrance. They spray the fragrance on the fan and then they kind of like waft the fragrance using the fan in front of your face. It's such a fun experience. And then they'll, they'll spray it on your wrist and they'll kind of like fan it on your wrist. You guys will see from the footage what that looked like. They wrap everything up so beautifully. I did purchase a fragrance. I will show you guys that in my haul. It was so, so beautiful. The people in the store couldn't have been nicer. The store couldn't have been more beautiful. I had a really great experience here. So I just wanted to show you guys the little clips of me shopping at Guerlain and just let you know, I would definitely check that out. I think that the fragrances make a really good gift. It's something like very French, very Parisian. I think that you will really enjoy your experience at one of the Guerlain boutiques or counters. Now, I also checked out some of the kind of like thrift and vintage stores in Les Marais. I definitely would say that the majority of them, they're more like thrift stores that you kind of have to dig through as opposed to luxury vintage stores. I did film a reaction to my vintage shopping, so I will cut to that now. So I went in a couple of the other stores and I checked out some vintage shops in Les Marais, but I didn't find anything that was like that unique. I find that like a lot of the vintage stores, they're pretty small and crowded and you kind of have to dig 
and it's it, it's very much like a thrift store like you're not gonna find anything super high end but you might find something that's like very cute and thrifty and i just like wasn't in the mood to dig i kind of like vintage stores that are a little bit more curated so to speak where the owner or the people that manage the store kind of have a specific aesthetic and then they like choose pieces in that manner as opposed to just having so many things that are just like thrifted and technically vintage but then you really have to kind of like dig through it so i just got something from girl lad didn't get any clothes this time but we will see for the rest of the trip if you're somebody that's kind of looking for a special sort of little luxury piece, maybe a vintage Chanel brooch, maybe like a vintage classic flap, anything like that, then I would recommend going to a boutique that specializes in vintage luxury and I will link some of those down below. <laughs> Okay, now I want to talk more about shopping at individual luxury boutiques. I do have footage of myself shopping in Louis Vuitton, in Fendi, so I am going to cut to that in a second, but I want to share a couple of tips with you guys first about kind of the benefits at shopping at the luxury boutiques, the pros and cons. I think that the benefit of going to these big major boutiques in Paris is if you really want to shop specifically from one brand, maybe you're interested in like ready-to-wear and bags and SLG all that good stuff or if you are looking for something really specific maybe something that's kind of limited edition then I highly recommend just going to one of the boutiques usually with a big brand like Louis Vuitton Chanel you know Fendi Prada etc you're gonna find multiple boutiques throughout Paris and each of those boutiques is going to have different stocks so it can be a little bit difficult to figure out which boutique should you go to I think in general if you go to a flagship store you're gonna be waiting in line for longer. They might have the most stock, but it's going to be a little bit more hectic. You might feel a little bit more rushed. And once again, you're going to have to wait in line. And the way that these stores work is that for a lot of the more popular boutiques, you have to wait in line to get into the boutique. And then once you get into the boutique, you usually have to wait again to be helped by somebody. Now, that's not gonna be the case at every single boutique. Once again, if you go to a flagship one, you're pretty much guaranteed to wait in line. I noticed that the boutiques that typically had lines were like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Goyard. Those were the three that I noticed pretty much always had a line. I didn't have to wait in line at all for Fendi. I literally just walked right in. There was like no customers in the store and they helped me immediately. So it's not every single boutique. And usually if you go to a lot of the department stores a lot of those brands you don't have to wait in line so I just want to share that as kind of like a little bit of a tip if you are looking to go to Chanel to Louis Vuitton to like the Dior flagship to the Goyard store I would recommend getting there like 30 minutes before the store opens in the morning that's when the fewest people are out shopping and that's going to save you a lot of time if there's one brand that you really want to go to that's going to save you a lot of time from like having to wait in line at the most popular store that's what i did with chanel it was a very good idea i also recommend going on like a weekday as opposed to a weekend if you are vacationing in paris if you're having trouble deciding like which boutique to go to i would recommend if you don't want to wait in line like try maybe not going to a flagship to start. I shopped on Faubourg St. Honoré. I will link all of the boutiques that I went to down below. And then Avenue Montan can also be a good option as well because you have some really big boutiques there, but they aren't necessarily like the flagship boutiques. All right, guys, thanks for humoring me as I shared all of my thoughts and all of my tips. The first boutique that I went to was a Chanel boutique, but like I said, I'm gonna save that one for the end. The next one that I went to is the Louis Vuitton store Louis Vuitton Vendôme. This is right off of Faubourg St. Honoré. This street was really great. It had a lot of boutiques. They weren't that crowded. There really were like no lines. I went in the morning kind of like when the stores first open. I highly recommend that. I had such a fantastic experience at this store. My sales associate couldn't have been nicer. She really like wanted to help me find exactly what I wanted. She helped me shop from everything from bags to SLGs to ready to wear. She offered me water. We walked around the store. I also really like in this store, I only had to wait for maybe like a minute outside. And then once you get inside, they take down your name if you want to be helped. And then basically for 15, 20 minutes, I just browsed and took the vlog footage that you guys see here right now. I like the fact that they just let me browse in the store. They leave me alone. They let me film. I was able to look at everything. I was able to look at all of the shoes, all of the ready to wear. This is a really great store. I 
highly recommend it. Next up, I checked out the Fendi store that was on the same street. I specifically went into the store because I was interested in ready to wear. I wanted to see what they had for the Fendace collection and also from the spring summer collection. Once again, I had a wonderful time in this store. There was no line. I walked in. The manager greeted me right away. They offered me something to drink. They pulled everything that I wanted. My sales associate was so helpful. She pulled me so many different sizes. She was really like trying to help me figure out what to get, how to kind of like narrow down my selection. It was a really beautiful store. It wasn't like the biggest store in the world. Like the Louis Vuitton store, I think was four floors and this was just one floor, but I thought that the stock was pretty good. I think that the boutiques on Avenue Montana are probably a lot bigger and they probably have more stock but I do think that you're going to get a little bit more of like a personal experience at these smaller boutiques so maybe just kind of keep that in mind. Okay friends, so finally, as promised, I'm gonna be sharing with you my experience shopping for Chanel in Paris. Now I had one pretty awful experience and one pretty good experience so I really want to share my thoughts unfortunately I was not able to vlog any of this they don't really let you vlog in the Chanel boutiques it's kind of hit or miss it depends on the security card I would say that the main reason I didn't vlog especially in the first boutique is that I just felt so uncomfortable so here's my experience shopping at this store Hopefully this helps you guys if you are shopping in Paris or if you're going to another country and you're shopping from a Chanel boutique. So I went to the 19 Rue Cambon boutique. This is not the flagship like 31 Rue Cambon. It's on the same street. It's down the street. I went here because I did some research and another YouTuber that I trust, she said that this is one of the bigger stores. They tend to have more stock, but it's not as crazy and hectic as the 31 Rue Cambon store. I got there about 30 minutes before the store opened on a Monday morning I was the second person in line I was very pleased about that and within maybe like five minutes ten minutes there was a much longer line behind me so I highly recommend if you're gonna go once again to like Chanel a flagship store or the Goyard store get there at least 30 minutes before the store opens and try to not go on like a Saturday or a Sunday because the queue really built up now the store opened up at 10 i went in and there's like all these sales associates that are just like waiting there like ready to help you i was assigned a sales associate they ask you like what can i help you with today etc the main thing that i'm looking for the biggest thing that's on my chanel wish list because like i don't buy that much chanel it's not a brand that I lust over too, too much. I really want a Chanel mini flap with a top handle. It's pretty hard to find. So I kind of like went into this experience knowing that like not every store has the same stock. It's not like that common of a product to find. I know that the current collection, it was launched a little while ago. Like we're kind of waiting for the next collection to come out. So kind of keep that in mind, depending on when you are shopping in Paris, you might be at like the tail end of a collection launch or right before the next collection launches so just kind of keep that in mind now what was my experience shopping in this store um I hated it it was the worst luxury shopping experience I think I've ever had I've shopped at Chanel before mostly just here in Boston and I think my experience here in Boston has been like if you have a sales associate that you know you'll probably have a really good experience if you don't have a sales associate you might have a really sucky experience like I've had people tell me no no we don't have that we're not getting that in and then my sales associate will come in and say oh yeah we're getting like three of those bags let me put you on the wait list and that's kind of like I think the experience experience that I had at this store. The woman that I was working with, the sales associate, the entire time, I don't want to say, I've heard this from other YouTubers, I don't want to say that she was rude, but she just, I felt like every single thing I asked her for, I was inconveniencing her. It was like, she wasn't really there to like, show me what they have and like, oh, we don't have this, but we have this. Like, let me show you, maybe you like this, you know, what kind of colors do you like? What kind of leathers do you like? Like I had to lead the entire appointment and I almost had to like pry for things. She showed me, they did have one, mini flap with a top handle, but I really didn't like the color. You know, she's showing it to me. She's like, this is all we have. You know, I'm looking at it. She's letting me try it, etc. And I said, you know what? I'm not like super, ex I'm not like super into this color. I don't know, is there anything else you have? Is there anything else at any boutique? And she was just like, you don't want, you don't want, yes or no. Like it's, it's very much like, 
do you want this? Yes or no? Cause like I have to, I might sell it to somebody else or like someone else might want it. Keep in mind, there's nobody in the room where we are. It's just her and I. So it's like very short. It just kind of seems like everything you ask you're inconveniencing them. They're like very impatient. She's just kind of looking around. She's not getting to know me. She's not offering me water. She's not asking me if there's anything else that, you know, she can help me with, etc. Like the whole time I just felt so uncomfortable. I just felt so uncomfortable. Like I couldn't wait to get out. It didn't make me want to spend my money. I did take a look at a couple of the other little bags. And like the thing too is like, she'll pull out the drawer and she'll just like plop one thing on the counter, but then she doesn't show me the other colors like I see you have other colors is there a reason why you're not showing those to me like what else do you have that's has a top handle and they have these bags in the displays but they can't sell you the display and they can't show you the display like the window display so there's that as well so yeah I don't think that you guys should expect to get really good service at Chanel or I think it probably depends on the sales associate I think that it's really hard to find what you want in these stores so when you go shopping at these boutiques you kind of have to keep your mind open that like they're probably not going to have what you saw on the website they might not have a lot of stock and you might have to spend an entire shopping day waiting in line at different Chanel boutiques if you really really want that thing and like I was kind of in the mindset of like if I find something I really like here I'll find it here I'm the kind of person that when I see something that I like I know it in my heart like my heart sings like that's the bag that's what I want to get and I really didn't see that in any of the products that they had at this store I didn't feel like any of the products that I looked at felt super good quality super luxurious I'm not trying to like hate on Chanel I'm not like done with Chanel nothing that she showed me felt super substantial on the flip side my experience shopping in Fendi and Louis Vuitton and the other you know other stores that I kind of browsed through was that the quality of the product products just felt a lot better and the attentiveness of the sales associate and their efforts to kind of like serve me and help me it was just absolutely day and night so it really didn't make me want to spend my money at Chanel. Now lastly I do want to share my experience shopping at the Chanel boutique at Le Bon Marche. I wasn't planning on going to this boutique but when I went in they didn't really have much of a line at all and I said you know what let me give Chanel another try. Let me just see what they have. Like I, I kind of already had like bought everything that I wanted to buy on this trip, but I gave them another shot. And I will say I had a much better experience at this boutique. In fact, I had a pretty good experience at this boutique. So I would recommend going to Le Bon Marche or maybe one of the department stores because these boutiques are a little bit smaller. You don't have to wait in line quite so much. In fact, there was a line and the woman that was managing the line was super nice and she said, I know where you are in line. If you want, you can shop and go through the department store, come back in like 15 to 20 minutes and you'll be the next in line. Like she let me shop, like she outright said, like, you don't even have to wait in line, go shop. I know, you know, where you are. A couple of our sales associates are on their lunch break. So it's taking a little bit longer. I apologize. Like they couldn't have been nicer. They assigned me to a very sweet sales associate. She was incredibly nice. They didn't have that much stock at this store. Again, I think it's because we're on like the tail end of the season. I had a very different experience here. Like she went and grabbed me, you know, all of the belt bags that they had. Cause I was like, mm, do you have any belt? bags do you have anything fun anything different uh she grabbed me pretty much everything that I asked her for she got me some water she even went on kind of like the little inventory device and she looked up you know what are the new colors that are going to be for this upcoming season she went and checked to see if there were any mini top handles anywhere else in Paris there really wasn't whereas at the other store that sales associate she didn't want to help me she didn't want to look them up she was like these are the colors she didn't show me photos of them she really didn't want to help me out at all. She didn't want to tell me where else I should go. She was like, mm, maybe you can like check out that boutique on that street, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So I do want to mention I had a really good experience at Le Bon Marche. The main takeaway here, guys, is that every boutique has different stuff. If you're looking for something specific, you're probably going to have to go to multiple boutiques. You're probably going to be waiting in line. If you don't want to wait in line too long, probably check out Printemp or Le Bon Marche. Try and go when the collections first launch. And as always, if you know a sales associate at any of these boutiques, then you're gonna have a better luck getting a bag if it's a really hard to find bag. I honestly prefer just shopping here in Boston 
with a sales associate because I have a much better experience. They can go, they can find that bag for me. They can source that bag for me before the collection even launches. They know what I like. Yeah, it's probably best to go through like a sales associate that you have an actual relationship with. That kind of goes for all luxury boutiques. Anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this kind of like vlog slash shopping guide hybrid. I just wanted to share what was my experience shopping in Paris. Hopefully these tips of kind of like department store versus the boutiques are helpful. My thoughts on the vintage shopping, hopefully that's helpful. At the end of the day, what I also want to say just kind of as a conclusion is that in all of the luxury boutiques that I shopped at, products were consistently like 20 to 30 percent cheaper than what I see here in the US. I live in the United States, so I'm just kind of speaking out for myself. I know in the UK, the prices might even be like a little bit lower in, in different parts of Europe, depending on the brand. But with all the products that I purchased, I pretty much saved 30% and then tax. So it is worth it if you are looking to shop from Chanel, Hermes, any of those big brands, then you are gonna save a lot of money. And that's why you see the lines, people wanna get that discount. So that's like the main benefits sometimes you have to hunt for what you want but you do save a lot of money if that's something that you've been saving up for Paris is a really great place where you can do that anyway guys I hope that you enjoyed this video please if you like this style of video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you guys have any recommendations or ideas of other kind of shopping vlogs or shopping content let me know I have a bunch of boutiques here in Boston that I can always shop at I'd love to make more content for you do me a favor and leave me a comment down below let me know if you've had any similar experiences experiences at Chanel or any of these other brands in the past. And without further ado, guys, I hope that you have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.